Hello there Malaysia, this is Jericho and welcome to part 2 of this untrue unboxing. So I paid my 360 ringgit and yeah I got it already and he advised that uh, for the first time charge the battery for 5 hours. Okay, I charged it for 5 hours even though it was the unit itself is uh, saying that it uh, is ready to you ready for use and after that two hours max for the batteries after use so uh, yeah and I was uh, surprised that it does not come with a USB thingy connect the like this one does it co connects the computer to the the camera no so there's no direct transfer from the camera to the laptop but he says that most laptops nowadays they come with a readable SD drive, SD card reader. Sorry, so I just need to pop out the SD card, the pen drive, 32 gigs from the camera, and just pop it into the laptop. My MSI GX70 bought at 4,600 ringgit. So the the camera recharger, I mean the battery recharger, looks like this one. This one. So. And uh, this one is for my Sony DSC something something something. This is camera. This one connects directly to the camera to upload the files. But uh, the Canon one does not have or come with that. <coughs> uh huh. So got this uh, small little paper bag. It's quite nice. Ni quite a nice touch by Canon because this is, pap this is a paper bag so it's more unique to have a paper bag than those other very very glossy ones glossy paper bags or plastic bags so yeah Milton Ng very good and I, I asked him uh, another question not related to cameras I said well every time I go want to go back to my house in PJ it's going to be very difficult it might take about 40 minutes or one hour because I always choose the wrong wrong way to go back as uh, end up in street pataling or whatnot and it was not direct route it takes only from from here to Laoyat there around 25 minutes okay 25 minutes to get there coming back it take for 40 minutes to one hour so I asked him uh, how to go back and he directed me using the map and uh, gave me strict instructions to go to that uh, uh, you know police station the main police station around the Laoya area go past it uh, past the <laughs> Jalan Imbi I think it's called Jalan Imbi it's the main road where the LRT is above okay I think it's called Jalan Imbi I might be wrong if you if I'm wrong just tell me in the comments below so <coughs> along Jalan Imbi on your left will be the Bajai Times Square <coughs> On the right will be all the buildings that uh, that are in front or or blocking Sungai Wang, Laoya Plaza, Plaza Inbi, and whatnot. So go along this road, past the traffic light, and on your north northeast of you will be the police station. So go straight, then past the LRT station above above you. Then from there, there's a sign that says PJ. Okay, and that's the way. Go up, go up the highway that says PJ, and yeah, came back in record time, about maybe 20 minutes. This is <coughs> it's the same route that I used to come to Laoyan. So that's a good thing. Past the Istana, past that stupid school which is always uh, making jam. Past the Mid Valley, go into Federal Highway, and that's it. Home free. That's that's good service and good direction so thank you Milton huh? I promised him uh, artwork so it will take a couple of months to do it because I've been very lazy in that department of making artwork for people <coughs> so <coughs> shit I didn't eat my god damn it I forgot to put my yes <coughs> 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 So let's go on cracking on the true unboxing because I got no time. I want to like by lunchtime or after lunchtime go to Chow Kit and get me some nice, nice Gundams. 
I don't know whether you get this Gundam or not by Momo, this Gundam Freedom by by Dragon Momoko because I already have a Bandai unopened Gundam Freedom cost me about 90 ringgit that's 30 US dollars from Bandai itself bought at the uh, Toys R Us in Mid Valley my first Gundam purchase actually after 10 years or so was it my first one? yeah that's my first one and after that I bought the uh, Gundam Strike uh, Gundam S Gundam Strike Rook plus Sky Grasper Perfect Grade from Bumi Utara at section 14 for 120 ringgit but it's by GHD which is the dodgy company making all these jo dodgy pirated Gundams not so good company but I'm not sure about the Perfect Grade or the Master Grades that's I have to go back to my hometown because that's where it, it is at. <coughs> so I don't know whether to, whether to buy this one or not. This one by Dragon Momoko. So if I buy this, I will have two Gundam Freedoms. And they do say that the Gundam Freedom by Dragon Momoko is slightly different from the Bandai version. As in more angular, a bit design change. And Prime92, the YouTube reviewer also said that, well, it might be from a recast, from a resin kit but he's not sure and I'm not sure as well so I don't know whether to buy it or not uh, as a second box from the sasabi that I might be getting so I have to see the price actually it's a high grade sasabi it should be cheap about 30 ringgit or 20 ringgit so hopefully I mean the max that I can go is like 40 ringgit 40 ringgit I can get already a master grade so what the fuck so I have to go and take a look so the true unboxing you already saw the power charger so this is the unit itself in a polystyrene thingy and the strap on is already on I mean not strap on, uh, wrist strap okay so I keep on referring to things that is sexually sex, sex, sexually inappropriate so we have the thingy thingy uh, some kind of uh, getting started manual cardboard box to separate whatever was in this box but now it's all jumbled up already this one I'm not sure I think this houses the strap wrist strap Okay. This one I'm not sure what it houses. I think it houses the the power thingy, charger, power charger, <coughs> and a warranty. Okay, very important that uh, that uh, you register it within three days to get extra three months on top of the one year warranty. And what's this? What the fuck is this? Store the battery in plastic. Okay, it's the same. No, it's not the same. It's pink and blue. So battery related is in this bag mm, what the fuck is this uh, no idea fuck it and this this one is attached to the digital camera definitely so the guy Milton Ng took it out and put it in a box so it's a digital camera HD 16 megapixels 28 millimeter wide 5 times zoom I think <coughs> the bag will be DJ4 I'm not sure what it means Smart Auto 32 scenes, no, no. Digital IS, not sure. LCD 6.8 centimeters or 2.7 inches. Eco mode, not sure. Maybe the camera is made of bark. And help button, okay. I need lots of help sometimes. And this one is the tray that that houses the this one, definitely. You can put in, definitely looks snug. And the box is like this. And the box itself is can power shot A2500. I hope YouTube won't cancel this this damn video or ask me to take it down because of the music that I'm playing in yeah, the back because I can't help it, it's been playing in the back so let's put everything snugly back into its place Milton Ng, thank you very much you're a very good salesman uh, I m must remember to register the damn thing for the extra 3 months hopefully I won't destroy the camera within 3 months because it will be roughly handled definitely in my jeans because my dick is always hardening all the time there are so many pretty girls here compared to the hometown that I'm staying in a lot of nice young girls with nice provocative stances and dresses enough to make me go boner 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 alert so the rest of it is we got this stylish, very stylish uh, thingy. Let's unbox it. Plastic casing, very nice color pink, no red. Then this one to put the camera. I don't know whether to use this or not because if it's in my jeans, it will be like raw. 
it won't be covered. So there's a pocket for it. Good for SDs, you know, extra SDs. But the 32 gig pen drive is pen drive uh, brand is just big enough. Not just big enough, it's ex more than enough. Then there's a sil silica gel pack inside to keep it moisture free. So, and there's a wrist strap, I think. Not sure, it looks kind of big. Uh, not sure about that. Uh, hmm, open it up. Okay, it looks like uh, maybe it's not a wrist strap, definitely too long. I think it's put around the shoulder to carry such a small thing, it's like a handbag. But such a small thing, it makes you look weird, doesn't it? For sure. So that's it. <coughs>
What's this auto? Live view control auto. Equipment scene and choose optimum setting. Okay, it's auto already, right? Live control. How to? Never mind. Um, uh, menu. Lamp setting on. What the hell? Red eye. Red eye correction off. Review image of the shooting. Definitely. Quick. Two seconds. Image this will set time. In two seconds. Quick, of course. Okay. Link detection. Oh, date stamp. Date stamp. Should I put it on date stamp? Hmm. Okay. Time as well. What's this new? Volume. Startup operation volume. So Seven, what the fuck? Is it the tenth? I don't think it's the tenth, is it? Ah yeah, should be the tenth, yep, yep, correct. The time is ten eleven, yeah? Ten AM and eleven minutes. Time zone, uh, uh no, I don't think that which lens retract one minute? Uh power saving on Auto power down, off, definitely. Display off after one minute. Ooh, no. Display off after. Oh, you mean when I put on the like this one, this button here, display off after thirty seconds? No, actually, no, no, no. I don't want it to happen because sometimes I use this camera, this only one for like when I'm painting. I have myself my own body as a reference, so I prefer being not to off the display. LCD brightness, okay. Startup image format is 29 gigs. Uh, is it, even though they say it's 32 gigs, the pen drive, but normally it's less than that, and this is less by 2 gigs. Don't know why. Oh no. Pell, is it Pell or NTSC? Which one is it? Uh, what's the difference between NTSC and Pell? So, you, can you tell me in the comments below to, to let me know what the hell? Uh, what what the fuck everything is so everything is okay and what the hell is this but this uh this what the hell is this can you see my sony's uh, autofocus is not so good it's slow very slow so the camera looks fine the lens is clean too bad they didn't give me a lens cleaner Milton Ng, um, you are very bad boy. You are a very bad boy for not letting me have. They have even have a digital AV out. Normally, you, I transfer files to this, this thing here. This thing here. Normally, I transfer files because the Sony one, from where you're seeing, is using this one to transfer files from the camera to the laptop. So it has a dedicated normal is a normal thing dedicated tripod thingy, and there's the C and E whatever that means. I think it's something to do with recycling. I'm not gonna recycle this damn thing. Power shot A2500 HD. So yeah, it would be nice to like, test this damn thing out. Definitely. So today I'm going to Chow Kit and I'm gonna do a spaghetti bolognese cooking lesson or hopefully without disasters. And uh, see you later, Malaysia. And I'll give you a rundown or test drive of this camera and how it works. <coughs> a nice short panoramic shot of Petaling Jaya and whatnot. Later. So, see you, Malaysia. Bye bye.